Hey guys, it's me, Kaylin, and today I'm going to be doing my April wrap-up. So I read 14 books this past month, which I know in my last wrap-up I said, don't get used to me reading a lot of books. And then I read 14 books this month. I'm okay with it. I like it. So let's just jump right in. So the first book I read this month is Furthermore by Tara Moffey. I rated this four stars. Um, this book is about a girl who's like 12 and she lives in a world full of color and she's has no color at all. She's all white. Um, and then she meets, she gets together with her arch nemesis and they go to a place called Furthermore. That's all I'll say. Um, I thought this book was really good. It's middle grade. Um, so I really liked this book because I felt the character development was really well. It did wrap up a little too fast for my liking, but that's okay. Um, I, feel, I think this is a good, especially because it is middle grade, I think this is a great middle grade book to see like such a um, strong female character by the end of the book. So I like it in that aspect. The next book I read was a short graphic novel novella um, called Sexile by Jamie Cortez. I read this for my literature class. It was interesting. I gave it four stars. It's a, about um, a trans woman from Cuba who is an immigrant to America. So the story I thought was really good. There's like discussion on being an immigrant and then also like HIV AIDS when it was first like becoming a thing being known and then like being queer and LGBT stuff like that. So I liked it in that aspect. Um, trigger warnings for sex. A lot of sex. Um, <laughs> when I saw that we were going to be reading this for class, I was like, oh cool, we get to read a graphic novel for class. That's different. This book brought graphic novel to a whole other meaning because it, it was graphic. like. That's all I'll say. So the next book I read was my first audiobook of the month, and it I also rated it four stars. And it is Black Enough Stories of Being Young and Black in America, I believe is the full title. Um, so a lot of these stories I thought was really good. Like one of them talks about like black gay cowboys. That one was my absolute favorite one. Um, another story talks about like having a half-sibling who like your parent lives with the half-sibling and not you um, being like smart but also wanting to be into rock culture which I thought that was a good one as well um, yeah there were a lot of different stories I think there are probably like 17 or 18 I could have just made that number up who knows but there were quite a few stories um, and I really enjoyed hearing that aspect of like being like a young black person because like being a minority it can be so difficult so I like hearing like the diverse um, representation in YA. So the next book that I read um, I listened to an audiobook as well and it was my first five star my first five star of the month um, and that was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I got this on um, from book of the month this past month but then I also had it uh, hold on it at my library for an audiobook and this book was absolutely so good like this is one of my new favorite books um, I'm so glad I listened to it on the audiobook because like I feel like the book wouldn't do it justice because it's told like an interview style so it makes it a lot easier to understand in the audiobook because there is like a full cast and each character has their own narrator, which I really enjoyed. Um, so if you don't know what this book is about, it is about a girl named Daisy Jones and a band called The Six, and it's like their up and coming rise to fame in the 60s and 70s. And this book was so atmospheric. I loved it so much. Like I felt like I was like in that time period bell-bottom pants like going to be a groupie that sort of thing so I really enjoyed that and this this book sh like made me realize that I love 
books and movies about bands and like right their rise to fame and like how they did it and stuff like that so that was super cool to read about so the next book that i read i also listened to on audiobook and i also read part of it and it is a uh, solo <laughs> Sorry it's a little dark, but the book was being funny. So it is A Soul in Life by J.C. Dugard. Um, this book is about a girl who, when she was 11, she was kidnapped, and then she was held captive for 18 years. So it was a super tough topic to have to read about. Um, trigger warnings for, like, drugs and sex, sexual assault, pedophilia, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it was super interesting to get her point of view. And also there are pictures in this book from while she was in cat captivity. Um, so there's like pictures of pets that they had, which I thought that was super interesting that like she has those pictures and that like the guy who held her, him, oh my goodness. I thought it was interesting that the guy who held her captive like had pictures, like took pictures of the pets and how did she get them? Like I have a... I have a few questions, but um, still, I thought it was pretty good. I feel bad rating this book because she does only have, well, she did only have like a fourth grade level education when she was kidnapped, so I can't, I feel like I can't really comment too much on the writing because it, it is going to read like a younger child, not child, but like a younger educated person wrote it. And then on top of that, like, the content is so triggering, like, it's her life. I don't really feel like I can comment on that, so I didn't give this book an actual rating. I would recommend it, though, like, I would recommend a lot of nonfiction, though, because I feel like you can learn something different from each nonfiction book, which can be important for some people to see other people's perspectives, so that's why I would recommend this book. So the next book that I read this month is one of the biggest books on my bookshelf besides like my Harry Potter books um, and it's 599 pages. It is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I rated this four stars. I thought it was pretty good especially for being such a big book. I went through it pretty fast. It is told in like a multimedia style so there's like pictures, emails, stuff like that which I really enjoyed um, that type of reading which I didn't think I didn't know if I would. But I very much did, so that's awesome. I really wanted to pick up the second book right away, but gotta save that money. You know, girls, you know what I'm saying? And boys. So, there's that. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed the characters. I thought it was pretty interesting, but, like, the plot twist at the end, I kind of figured out that it was going to happen. So, I don't know. There's that. So this book is set in the future and it follows two main characters, Ezra and Katie, and they they just broke up the morning before their planet gets attacked and like explodes. So that's cool. And then it's all about them um, like sending emails back and forth, um, them emailing and talking with other people and trying to figure out what's going on. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this book as well. So the next book I read was also for my literature class, and it was the worst book I read this month. So that's great. Um, it's called Saltfish Girl by Larissa Lai. Uh, I gave this two stars. I didn't like it. Uh, it was magical realism about uh, that follows two characters, Miranda and Nuwa. And Nuwa is like a snake goddess turned human, and Miranda is just some random girl who smells really badly. She smells like some fruit. So, yeah. We don't know if their, like, worlds are connected, or not their worlds, but we don't know if their storylines are connected, how they're connected. Um, yeah, this was sci-fi as well. Like, it was like sci-fi magical realism at the same time. Um, set in 20, like, 2040 to 2062, and then also in, like, the 1800s. I... I didn't really know what was going on in a lot of this book, which is partially why I wouldn't recommend it, so there's that. I don't know. Do with it what you will. So the next book I read was another four-star reading, and I actually buddy read it with my roommate, 
because now that I've started reading a lot more and talking about it online, she's trying to hit me up. <laughs> um, and that was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I thought this book was pretty good. Um, I'm not a big fantasy reader. I mean, I enjoy fantasy. I just, it's not my first thing that I want to pick up. Um, but having like read it with someone else like definitely made me like go through it faster and I enjoyed it. Um, the end also wasn't surprising to me. Kind of saw it coming. I don't know how to feel. I, I will probably continue in the series because I did check out the second audiobook version of this. So we'll see. Um, this book is about a girl named Mare who in her world there's the Red Bloods and the Silver Bloods. And the Silver Bloods have all the power and are super rich and wealthy and like can do God knows what, like read people's minds, control people's minds, stuff like that. And then there's the red blooded people who are peasants. And Mare has red blood, but she has powers. So that's the storyline for this. So the next book I read, I. Got, I just bought this month and it is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Um, I lent this out to my boyfriend's mom, that's why I don't have it. I gave this four stars. It was pretty good. I'm not a super screenplay, like, play reader, but I did like it. Um, I, I would read anything in the Harry Potter world, honestly. Um... Yeah, I enjoyed myself. I liked being back into that um, world, even though it was different characters. I liked the magic system, stuff like that, so would recommend. So the next book that I read, I picked up at Goodwill this month as well, and I mostly picked it up because of the magical, Owl's Magical Readathon, um, and that is The Stars Were Right by K.M. Alexander. I rated this four stars as well. I had a lot of four stars this month, you guys, like... I'm okay with it. Like, four stars for me means it was pretty good. I'm probably not going to reread it, but still. So, this book, I, I very much enjoyed this book. I would recommend this book. Um, let me read the back of it quickly because that is the reason I bought it. So, it says, The Stars Were Right combines mysteries and monsters, chases and cults, and an ancient evil in a world that is similar but not quite like our own. So, I really liked that. It's, I mean, besides what I just told you guys, um, it follows this guy named Waldo, who he is a caravan master, and he comes in with his shipment, brings it to the people, and then is gonna relax for the next, like, month. And then he finds out that he is, like, being charged with murdering, like, two, two or three people. So... When obviously he didn't do it. He wasn't in town. So he's, we're following like, not his perspective, but we're following him in the third person. Oh no. Yeah, we're following him in his first pers first perspective. It's been a while since I've read this book apparently. So we're following him in his first, pers um, first person perspective. Um, yeah. And I really enjoyed it. I liked the twist at the end of this one. Um, I thought, I think it was pretty good. It was good. So the next book I read, I listened to an audiobook again, and it is Angie Thomas's second book, On the Come Up. I rated this five stars as well. Um, I really liked this book. I liked the narration of it. I liked the, like, raps included in it. I liked Brie as a character, even though she, like, she did some things that I wouldn't do. She, like at the same time I have to remember that she's like 16 or 17 and I'm 21 so I have like a few more years on her to be like girl don't do that but so I liked her in that aspect um I really liked her story liked her family liked seeing the like poverty side of it but also like wanting to be a rap star so um this book is about a teenager, 16 or 17, I can't remember how old she is, I think she's 16, um, 16 year old named Brie, and she wants to be like an up and coming rap star, but her family is facing like poverty, and like her aunt is a drug dealer, so like they have that to deal with, um, 
yeah and it's all about her like trying to be on the come up and then she does have like a hit song like early on in the book that like brings her to her rise of fame and like I said I like reading about that so that's interesting to read about as well the next book I read um is this big boy and it's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets illustrated edition and she this was so beautiful I'm so glad I read it but to be honest it was so annoying to have to hold this book is like this book is so heavy right now but um also I forgot this is the book with like all the spiders so and your girl doesn't like spiders so that was a little scary but it's fine um it's Harry Potter so I'll still read it I uh, same thing with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I liked being back in this world, liked reading about these characters and the magic system and stuff like that. And yeah, I rated it five stars because it's Harry Potter and I love everything Harry Potter. So the next book I read um, is A study, study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. My copy is actually signed, which just saying. Just saying, this is my first, like, my first book, and I only have one other book that's, like, signed, so I really thought that was cool. Um, I did tab it up, like, a lot. Um, I really enjoyed this book. I listened to the last, like, two or three chapters on audiobook, and yeah, it was good. This book is a Sherlock Holmes retelling, um, and Sherlock Holmes is a teenage girl named Charlotte Holmes, and it follows like the descent descendants yeah it follows the descendants of um, Watson and Holmes so I really enjoyed the mystery in this book I enjoyed the character development because let's be honest Charlotte Holmes kind of a B in the beginning especially in the like first 75% of this book she <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised because it's like Sherlock Holmes retelling but I was super annoyed with her a lot of the book um, and, but I love Jamie, he, mm, Jamie's so sweet, and he just wants to be friends with her, and I'm glad they become friends in the end, because otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. I would have probably raged a little bit, but, yeah, I would definitely recommend this book. I gave it four stars, in case I didn't say that. So, yeah, would recommend. Okay, guys, we, we have made it to the end. This is the last book. I read this month and I listened to it on audiobook. I rated it four stars and it is American Street by E.B. the Boy. Uh, this book follows a girl from Haiti and she is moving with her mom to live in Detroit with her cousins and aunt but her mom gets stuck at the deportation center and she just goes on without her and goes to live with her family um, and then it's following her like falling in love wanting her mom to like come live with them so it's an immigrant story um it was nice listening to the audiobook version of this because like I could she had like a Haitian accent and then she would say how like she would say one word and then her friends would laugh and be like haha say it again because she had said it the wrong way or said it in a funny way so that was interesting to hear about um the end of this book messed me up I'm just gonna be honest I cried a lot I was so sad by the ending of this book um yeah I would definitely recommend this book especially if you want to hear like an immigrant story like um a black teenager story same with on the come up I would recommend that one as well but um yeah this is pretty good book so there are all the books that I read in April. Uh, let me know if you guys read any of these, like what you think of them. Um, also let me know what you think I should read in May because I only started like one book. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, see you next time. Bye.